Oh, good morning. We just wanted to show you guys something, but I was too uh, slow on the uptake. Oh, she's coming back. Okay. <laughs> Whenever we make the bed, specifically Jeff, so rude. The queen just lays down right in the middle. Oh. Good. I'm making it on top of you. Yeah, she doesn't know. She just. Oh, she knows. Hi, sweet girl. Hello. Hi, sweet girl. Hello. Why don't you turn that camera around? <laughs> Let the audience at home see. <laughs> Fully nude. All right. Be right back. Hello. We are clothed. The bed is made. Um, and we're just having a little bit of a Sunday fun day. I got my Sunday hair on. Jeff, you haven't been on a uh, video in a while. It's true, you guys. Our, uh, <laughs> our trial separation didn't work out and we're back together. We're back. We didn't trial separate, internet. Calm your boobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm not on video very often. Hello, can you say hello? Uh, today, Corny and I have to go to the vet. I'll explain that in a little bit, but before then, me and Jeff are going to play a little bit of... Finally got Lisa to play a video game with me. That game is Super Mario World, the OG for Super Nintendo. I am not good at video games. I don't find a lot of joy in them, but I did grow up playing Mario Brothers. And so Jeff was like, hey, play Super Mario 3. Super Mario World. For Super Nintendo, the for game super the wives. to Super Mario 3. You're fine at video games, you just can't stand the learning curve. I just don't care that much. You, you get so frustrated within the first 10 minutes because you don't know how to work the buttons and you refuse to... Every video game, as you guys know, you have a little learning curve in the beginning where you gotta adjust and then you start to cook. But you can't get to the cooking part because you don't like the curve. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for the curve, I don't like the curve, but... That being said, I'm pretty good at this one. You're doing okay. I'm proud of you. You were impressed by my skills a little bit. Well, those who know, if you know, you know. You did the jump where if you're jumping in Super Mario World and you have Yoshi and you're about to die, you have to make a very difficult decision. And that is to jump off of Yoshi and let him fall to his horrific dinosaur death while you survive. I was going to tell you that one day you're going to have to do that, but you just intrinsically did it. You just jumped I, off the ocean. I did that on accident. Death. And then I'm sorry, I had to turn the camera off for me because I realized I was giving side, like, angle and it wasn't cute. So. Your side angles are amazing. This Your chin is, is as cuter. young as it was 20 years ago. <laughs> a beautiful chin. Thanks, Jeff. So anyways, we're going to play a little bit. We're trying to beat the game together. Uh, and then we will see... What what comes next in this fabulous day besides going to the vet, which we don't want to tell her until the very last minute because it's an ordeal. Does anyone ever have this? Like I made the mistake of not letting my moisturizer and all my like all the stuff I put on my face, which mind you, I do put a lot like serums, the whole sh shebang um, on. But then I put makeup on like pretty quickly thereafter. I like didn't let it all set in and I feel like on days when I'm rushing and doing that, my face, like, the makeup doesn't, like, totally, like, blend in. And also, like, I always look a little more dewy than I was going for and a little red. Anyways, hi. Just analyzing my face. How are ya? Um, before we go to the vet, I did want to give you a book review of the latest book that I read. I'm sorry. I'm looking at it so I don't forget. The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. Um... I post about it on my Instagram, in my Instagram stories, and I talked about it previously as like the next book that I was going to read. It came after a very light read, a light suspect, a light murder novel that I read last month. And so I had gotten this suggestion to my friend who likes similar books. He suggested this and was like, oh, you'll love this. It's not like super like the best writing, but it's like gory and fun. And I was like, okay, I don't know if I'm like really into like gory and fun kind of stuff, or I'm into fun. I'm into fun, I'm fun, I swear I'm, I'm cool, I'm hip. Um, which by the way, there was like this meme going around being like, don't believe it, like what your friends or your brain is telling you, like you're actually cooler the older you get, which like I actually do stand by and I feel I mean, I'm not cool, just generally speaking, but I do feel like I, the older I get, the better I get. 
Um, and I really liked that meme, but it was like making me laugh because I feel like all my older uh, influencer friends were reposting it. It just made me laugh. Anyways, we're fun, we're cool, uh, regardless of our age. So this book, I think maybe horror just isn't necessarily my genre. The second half of the book was really, really fun, and I feel like I finally was like into it, and it was like page turning in the second half. First half, I just felt like so disconnected from the characters, and I felt like there weren't like a lot of character development. Like we learned quickly like about the backgrounds of our characters, but we didn't like feel our characters. At least I didn't. And I'm more, I think that's why I like psychological books and suspense thrillers because you usually get into like the deep like mindset of these people. And this just wasn't doing that for me. It was more in fact like a very showy thing with lots of gore and lots of like situational horror moments, but not so psychological. So I gave it a six out of 10, but it was a fun read. And if you're just looking for something in the vein of a horror movie, um, then it was definitely worth checking out. And like I said, the second half was pretty fun to read. So that's my official review. I don't know what I'm gonna read next. And when we were gonna go to the bookstore yesterday, but we ran out of time. So I guess I can go tomorrow and pick something out. But if you have any suggestions, let me know below. Okay, I'm gonna get her into the car. Basically, it's not a big deal. She's all good. I just haven't taken her in to get her tushy glands expressed and her nails done. You can do that at the groomer, but I like going to the vet because they're fast, they're not as expensive as the groomer, and she like hates going to the groomer and she doesn't really need like a cut. She needs a bath, but like, let's just say they do the tushy part like more intensely and fully at the vet and uh, that's just what little pups like corn, uh, breeds like corn need to keep their health prime. I'm trying not to talk too grossly about what they do to her tushy, but just trust me, the vet is the way to go, but she hates going there and I hate taking her there, um, but we're doing it. It's a Sunday today and I feel like it's not as crowded there on a Sunday, so all right. I'm procrastinating, let's go. Corny. One, two, you know what to do. Car vlog, car vlog. Um, hi, I just realized that whole prior clip, I'm pretty sure I had boogies in my nose, so that's fun. We really love that. Um, also, I wanted to mention, I did this in my Ulta haul. Um, two things for my Ulta haul. One, this is that Pink Quartz Benefit lip gloss stuff that I just love so much, but also, if you go back, I did, I ended up getting a hairspray and I was like, I don't know. I've never really like used this product before, but it was like, all, it was like cheap and small, not cheap, but like their options for hairspray were in great. Turns out I'm loving the hairspray. I should have mentioned this while I was in the bathroom so I can show you the hairspray, <laughs> but I'll leave the link below because now it's totally escaped me as to which brand it was. Um, but I feel like my hair has been looking pretty good. Okay, we're off. Are you ready? I'm not telling you where we're going, but I feel like you're going to figure it out pretty fast because you're a smart gal. Also, you guys might have seen I got this cover for my case, which I learned is not a cover. It's just like an aesthetic skin that doesn't do anything other than just look kind of cute. But I finally got a pop socket. Ugh. I just like, I'm not loving my choices. I feel like I've told you this before. I am quick to like buy things and I don't really read the reviews or think it through. And so I got this pop socket. It's kind of dorky, but not having a pop socket is the worst. I lived without it for, I would say a good three weeks. And uh, I feel like I'm back in action. So at least there's that. Okay, onward. Hello. <laughs> I had this grand plan to like vlog while she was in the vet getting her nails done. Um, and here we are. <laughs> Although this is like sort of avant-garde. Uh, all right, well, I guess that's a no-go. I like to sit in my car though when she's uh, getting her treatment because it's packed in there and it smells like cat. No offense to cat -log lovers, just like a very specific, very specific scent. Okay, see you in a bit. Corny. Come tell everyone what happened. 
She was a brave girl and she did it. She did it. Let me get her out of the car so you can go celebrate with some treats, but she did it. So proud of her. We did it, y'all. We achieved greatness. Our tush is clear. Our nails are done. <laughs> We're ready to party. Um, also, look how cute. It's the hour when the sun comes in and it like picks up on my disco ball. And I just love it. It's the disco hour here in our house. All right, let's go into my bathroom so we can look up that hairspray real fast. Come on. By the way, every time I mention in a folding video that I have piles of clothes waiting for me, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> so uh, that's going to be a long video this week. Come on, Corin. Okay, so by the way, I have been using Vegamore. Um, and I had mentioned like previously that I didn't really love their product because I felt like my hair would get oily quick. I don't feel like that anymore. So I don't know if my hair just adjusted to it or if I'm just not using as much shampoo and conditioner when I do wash it. Um, but I really like it. And I've definitely noticed growth on my hair. Um, my hair is still very thin. I should start using the serum. I have it. I just am lazy. My hair is definitely thin but is definitely getting longer so if you're looking for a product people swear by vegamore and um my hairstylist uses it and swears by it so something to think about here it is it's the living proof that's the brand it's the flex hairspray and uh, in the medium hold and i'm really 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 liking it so when i finish this bottle i probably would invest in the uh, full size Product review. Look at this little cutie bean. Hi, cutie bean. Hi, cutie bean. We love you. You're not mad at me anymore. I always feel like you're so mad at me when I take you, and I'm so sorry. But I'm doing just preventative health so that you're healthy and, and that you live forever, okay? Look at that tail go. I just want you to live forever. I love you. Lots of extreme close-ups in this video today. <laughs> How are we feeling about it for a Monday morning? Um, I just love you guys so very much. Random vlog today. Uh, but some days I just like wake up and I'm like, I legit feel like vlogging. And so that's, that's the deal. And um, I'm just excited. I believe tomorrow will be the announcement that I've been waiting to share with you. So stay tuned for that. I also have to do that new Lee try on for you guys. And for the first time ever, I did the Amazon Prime try on before you buy thing. And it was kind of awesome. I ended up buying the pair of overalls that I was trying on before buying. Um, but I really kind of love and appreciate this idea of not having to have your credit card charged before you decide whether or not the pieces fit. I'm not sure how sustainable and like environmentally sound that is now that I say it out loud with like the back and forth of like the prime delivery and stuff. Am I feeling guilty all of a sudden? I don't know guys, you know, it's just life. I'm trying to find balance and I'm always trying to like find balance when it comes to sustainability and loving the earth and you know taking care of myself everything everything in balance uh you try to be the best you can be but i guess sometimes um the convenience definitely gets in the way so let me know actually what you think about the prime try on before you buy situation and we'll go from there oh and one more thing just random that i have to share because i think i already know what i'm going to talk about during folding videos so i will not be able to talk about this this week but i did start the love island uk the latest one and i'm just like hooked like i'm hooked and then i'm like mad at myself now for being hooked because it's such a time commitment because i think it's on like five days a week or something like absurd like that it comes out slower or like after the fact on hulu here in america so I, the timelines are a little bit off but like Oh my god, I just finished episode three and like I'm just so hooked on this silly young love romance drama game show. <laughs> and in the first episode, no spoilers, but like in the first episode, they're like, um, the guys are talking, they're like, ooh, how old would you like go for? And one guy's like 40. And they're like, whoa! And they're like freaking out, and I was like, Insert eye roll, 
am I also too old to be watching this? But here I am, so I swallowed my pride and my age and my ego, and I've continued on. I love this silly show so very much. So if you're watching that one, let me know. Also, I think the one here in the States just arrived on Peacock or Paramount Plus which I don't have and like I just like I can't invest in another one I'm just gonna have to go UK for the moment and I kind of just love their slang and lingo in the UK oh what it was the one that they were saying today oh shoot it was like a phrase that they use he was like denied a kiss it wasn't like bunk oh my god if you know what I'm talking about the word I'm looking for please let me know ah oh, it was like a food word or something. I, I'm so not cool and definitely not British, but let me know in the comments below if you guys are watching it. I love you guys. Stay tuned for a full week of content. Lots going on and I can't wait to share with you and spend the week with you. So, uh, love you, love you, love ya and see you manana. What do you think, little piggy? Look at that little pig bob though, you know what I mean? She's a beautiful little piggy belly. We love you.